Hi, everybody. And uh, I'm glad that you are here and you watch my next uh, video class for you. And this class is uh, titled as Management in a Disruptive Time or New Management. So for this the entire class, we will compare kind of traditional approach to management and new management, which kind of was born last 10 years. So it's pretty new uh, approach and I am happy to share this with you. The idea, um, first of all, I want to remind you that uh, all the sources, all the references of uh, books and articles I used for this class, you can find on the last slide, on the last slide of this PowerPoint. And please feel, you know, I encourage you very much to find original articles, to find original books and uh, read them. Uh, the entire class is based on the latest publication, so there is no textbook. That's why you don't have textbook in this class, because they have not read, they have not Mm, written this textbook. Uh, the entire class is based on Harvard, uh, Harvard Business Review publications, kind of number one source for me. And, uh, and again, fine books which I believe are worth to read. The second, uh, could you please show my first slide? Yeah, thank you. The second issue I um, want to uh, attract your attention is how I kind of position this class, who needs this class, who this class is prepared for. If you work in uh, an organization which doesn't compete with anybody, with no other organization, you maybe don't need this class. This class is for organization, both private and public, non-profit, doesn't matter, but this class is for organizations which compete in a really strong competitive environment, where other organizations are also fine. Your competitors are strong. They are strong in a competition for their clients, for their choice what to buy, for uh, they are strong in competition for donors, if and their decision who to help with their resources, if you're a non-profit organization, or if you even work for state government, you compete, who you compete with? You compete with other departments first, and you compete uh, which provide other service. And uh, you don't compete, but you compete maybe, oh, you compete with private and non-profit organizations which already established high standards of uh, relationship with clients. So when people get used to have flexible, high quality service from private businesses, from non-profit organization, and then they work with the state organization, they get used to. They want to have exactly the same level of service. That's why you kind of compete, if you're a state organization, you kind of compete with everybody. Not compete, but you have to prove that you know how to do your job. So this class helps you to find a new way how to become better, how to become more flexible, how to become a more responsive for clients' request, how to become more competitive in this market. And uh, in this class, first of all, we discuss what new management means. When I say it's new approach in management, what exactly new? What's the difference between the management which you uh, uh, studied in principles of management course, in organizational behavior course, in leadership course, and this class? What the difference is? And then you, I hope that you know main functions of management, and these are planning, organizing, leading, uh, and controlling and coordinating sometimes we just depends on the classification. So there are five functions of management planning, organizing, leading, coordinating, controlling. And we will discuss each of them. And we will see 
what is different. So new planning, new organizing, new leading because new employees, new coordinating. And about controlling, maybe we'll talk in our last class about professional service firm and uh, knowledge management in the next class. Okay, so the first question is new management, new economy. New management is established because, because it's change happened around us. Because in a uh, business economic environment, much changes. We cannot, uh, everything was changed around the organization makes us to look to another approach in management. What's changed? First of all, <clears throat> the idea which was kind of in social environment was more about conserve. We have established rules, we have established approaches, we have tradition, we have uh, established one, two, three, four, five. We have to be respectful and uh, we have to follow because it's wisdom here. I still believe that it's true because wisdom is really good stuff and we must listen to people who have the experience. But what happened now and uh, I base this, uh, this part of the class on the book of Tom Peters Reimagine, he says that you know, but if you always follow the rules, other organizations who are more proactive in changing the rules, they become much faster, much more flexible. They just win while we kind of muddling through our previously established, established rules. So the new idea of new economy versus old economy uh, don't uh, hesitate to destroy the rules if they are obsolete. And kind of be always suspicious. Are they obsolete or not? So I don't think that anybody uh, disagree that uh, if rules are obsolete, we should destroy them. Everybody agrees. The problem is that some people believe that all 100 rules they have in their organization, they are forever. They are not obsolete at all. But other people they are very much attentive to uh, kind of evaluating again and again these rules and free to look at new approaches. Second, the more traditional approach was promoted from within because these people, again, they know corporate culture, they know the tradition of this organization, they know everything that happened before, and they can follow, they can continue this uh, practice. What now and more and more uh, uh, more and more popular welcome foreigners. Why? Of course, they don't know our organization, and this is kind of a problem. They don't know our cor uh, corporate culture rules, etc., etc. But this is good. They bring something new, as we say, new blood to our organization, new ideas. They destroy sometimes uh, something what was established, some relations. You know, I know you, you know me, you know him, he knows me. So it's our network and these new people, they kind of question, why should I do this for him if he's not competitive? And it's hard maybe for me to explain you should do this for him if he, even if he's not competitive because he's my friend. These new people ask what? And these foreigners, they bring new, they first of all, they question the established ideas and second they bring new new ideas second <clears throat> nepotistic hiring um, versus creative recruitment it's what we just told so um, network network uh, recruitment but we will have in, in next class and you will see that in social capital